it's Shannon aka QB Crossing and today we are back with another island tour. This island tour is a spring core island and the creator describes it as a whimsical woodland island so I'm really excited to see how the woodlands and the spring core aesthetic merge together. If you guys don't follow me on Twitch or YouTube already, I'm actually working on a spring core island myself. So I knew I wanted to tour this creator's island and get some inspiration for my own island as well as share it with you guys because I've been following this creator on Twitter and, and Instagram for quite a while now. And they are just spring core goals. So I'm so excited to kind of dive into this with you guys. This creator also, you can see that we have the custom codes portal right there. They create a lot of codes themselves, so we're definitely going to check that out. But uh, before we get started, we always check out the map. So let's open this up here and let's see. So we have Erin. So there's actually four resident reps here, Iris, Eden, and Finch and a lot of really really cute villagers i love how they are all spread around the the map and also the waterscaping looks absolutely incredible i i love to see those circles on the map and and those tiny little rivers so i cannot wait to look at all of that up close as well as let's see so the airport is kind of the perfect distance from resident services it's not too close and I really like how the uh, museum is all the way in the back there. So I just can't wait to dive in. As you can see, the dream address is at the bottom of the screen. I will also have it in the description so you guys can visit yourselves. But let's check out this, uh, the designs that the creator has. I can already kind of like get a glimpse of the island from the sides and I'm so excited because this is definitely right up my alley, the aesthetic that I'm going for on my island. So I'm really, really excited. I, I'm pretty sure that this creator has a lot of bangs and blush codes. So if you're looking for some of those, this might be the perfect uh, creator for you. So let's see. Yes, okay, so there's different chibi bangs, so cute, all different colors, I love that. And look at this, okay, so these little rugs I've been using on my island a lot and they're just so cute. So definitely going to save some of these because we, we need that. As you can see, I already have one kind of similar, but I'm absolutely loving the one that Erin, the creator of this island uh, made. It's like a light green, it's just so perfect. And it has those little flowers on the side. So I think that will be a really versatile design design and luckily I I have some some slots left since this is a new island so that's rare for for me but I do have some and also while I'm here I've been looking for a good fringe code so uh, for some bangs so let's see which color would match me I think I have darker hair on my character so I am going to grab these and let's see do I have one slot left perfect oops uh, there we go. <laughs> Great. Thank you, Erin, for this because that was really, that was necessary. So now we're going to get into the actual island tour, but I love to see a dream tour where the creator actually has some of their own design codes. That's always really cool to look at and it kind of gives you an idea of what their aesthetic is. So I love to start at the airport because that is usually how you would experience an island. So let's start up here i actually think there was some stuff to the right of resident services that we have to grab but we'll do that as we uh, walk around so let's see they have a blue airport here and as we come over this way i absolutely love the wedding bench if you guys have not been using this on your island you are missing out because look at how look at how pretty it looks and right away at the start a diagonal brick bridge how beautiful Loving all the little details here, that plain wooden shop sign, the mums on the floor, and look at that. So that is that heart bouquet, and it looks so pretty when you turn it around. It actually just looks so much better than when it is facing front. Uh, and I don't know what color that is, but it's so beautiful. So I think that might be my favorite customization of it yet. The waterscaping around here, absolutely beautiful. As we cross over this way, again, look at this path. So I have a different version of the green path that I'm using, but if you like a more flowery version, this is definitely the one for you. So uh, be sure to check out the link in the description 
of this video if you're interested in some of these codes here. And I just want to open up the camera app because look at all the detail on the cliffs. The gnomes, not one little piece of the crest is left untouched and that is what I really admire. I, I personally just don't like to see when the grass is empty. I always need a code down, I always need an item down, so this is definitely my kind of island. I'm loving it so much. This tree's bounty arch and all of these details. I just love little transition areas. So this is really, really beautiful and giving me a lot, a lot of inspiration. I'm going to head over to the right here because I had seen this stuff. So let's pick all of this up. I probably should have done this when we first came in, but better late than never. Are we missing anything else? No. Okay, so we have a pinwheel. Let's hold that. That's adorable. What else? Okay, a ladder. Oh, we have a Cosmos wand. I actually don't think I have any. Oh, wow. So cute. I actually don't have any outfits saved to a wand right now since this is a new island. So I'm actually just going to stick with the yellow balloon. I think it, it will look really nice uh, on this island. And the yellows and the greens are so spring core. So we're going to stick with that. Okay, look at this lace code. I absolutely love small areas like this. How beautiful. Let me get out of the way or maybe sit down in this chair because I just love the simplicity of this. The aesthetic is spot on. You really need to decorate all of these areas within your island. And a lot of times it's easy to just, you know, fill in flowers or bushes and stuff. But to, if you can actually create these tiny micro areas, it brings a lot to the island. So definitely getting really inspired from that. As we go up here, wow, okay, cutest able shop ever. Are you kidding me? I love the pile of leaves. Look at that. Okay, zooming in on this because this has to be the cutest little detail I've ever seen. Oh my gosh. Who would have thought to put the tea cozy on the mush stool? I'm in love. Also loving all the color lately. Uh, if you follow me on Twitch or Instagram, you can see that I also am doing spring core and using a lot of color is just giving me so much serotonin. I started off with the basic spring core colors like green and yellow, and now I'm being, you know, really inspired to use some reds and pinks, and I'm loving how Erin has set this up. All of the reds are really, really popping, and they look beautiful. All of these custom codes, too, really the aesthetic of this island is coming through. Love this parasol here. And oh my gosh, even the customization of that, is that the kimono stand is so, so nice. Wow, there's so much detail everywhere. Oh, is this their house? Oh, or maybe it is a cafe. I wonder if we can go in here. Let's check it out. I really also like the exterior of, of this house. I'm assuming it's a cafe since there's like a menu outside and a seating area. So if I'm wrong, I guess we'll see. Oh, so cute. Wow. Okay, so maybe it's like a library. Really well done. I haven't seen anything like this. I've seen people break up rooms with, with the bookshelves, but this is really nice and it feels so realistic. This is definitely a library. I, I absolutely love it. And I've never seen that heart clock up there. I just kind of had to stop on it because I've never seen it before. This is really, really cute. I guess that's why they have so many residents on this island. I love when creators do that and they have different houses for different buildings uh, and they just get really creative with it. So let's head over this way. Oh, I really like this transition right into nooks. Oh my gosh, so many item combinations that I wouldn't have thought of. So the rattan low table with the turkey day set, absolutely love that. And look at this little picnic setup. And if you guys have not been using the confetti, what is it called? The confetti something, I don't know, machine from festival. Look at how cute it, it just kind of looks like petals flowing in the wind. So if you hide it kind of like how Erin did here, it just gives that perfect little touch to your to a little area so definitely try that out if you haven't yet 
Okay, so I think that's the edge of this cliff here. So let's head back around and, you know, I haven't done a dream tour in a while, so let's hope I don't miss anything. <laughs> let's head this way, because I see a bridge. Wow, oh, look at how pretty this view is. That's some really good terraforming. Okay, ooh, whoa, I think I see a sunken waterfall, which I love, love a sunken waterfall. As we head this way, I really like also breaking up areas with the arches. So they're using the tree bounty arch here, which I love. Ooh, okay, a great, how beautiful is this? Let me open up the camera app. That is so beautiful. Really great terraforming. I have to take a picture here. And it leads right into the sunken waterfall. And it's a really tiny sunken waterfall, but it's so nice. Um, I, I think I might have to get step up my terraforming game on this new island. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Over here, what a cute... Oh, it's a rock circle. A rock circle with a wishing well in the middle. This is really creative. I love seeing new things like this that I haven't seen before. I have not seen a rock circle set up like this with those log stools in between with different items. That feels really magical. And I'm loving this curved path going through here to this house. And they made the regular dirt path look so great. Oh my gosh. I love how hidden this is. All of the codes that they're using are so beautiful. These little flower filler codes are so nice. Um, let's head in here and see if, let's see if we're allowed in this house. I did not talk to Erin beforehand and see if the houses were done, but I'm assuming that <laughs> They might be, okay, yes, they are. I assumed after that first library that um, most of the interiors might be done. And okay, wow, how cozy is this? It feels really cabiny and and warm. I'm loving all the reds and the browns. Let's kind of just do a 360 around here. So beautiful, really, really, really like this. I could see that they closed off the left side with with the bookshelf couldn't think of that word but i'm assuming that maybe these rooms since they're not closed off we can go into so let's check it out oh so simple and cute look at this i forgot what it, i think this is like the brown shag rug but it looks really nice in here with luna's bed and i love the way so simple but love the way that they set up the art it's it looks so good this is actually one of my favorite rooms that I've seen in a while. I just love the simplicity and I really like the way that they arrange the art on the wall. I find arranging art on the wall really, really hard to do and I just love the way that they stagger those two paintings. And look at it, this, look at the lighting, wow. The lighting on everything looks so, so pretty. I, I would definitely want this as my room in real life. Don't you love when, it, when you see a, a video game room and you're like, that's so much better than what I actually have right now. <laughs> Let's go this way. Usually this room is where I put a bathroom. But let's see, I'm wrong. This is much better than a bathroom. I'm loving the curation and all the colors of the items that they're using. This house is like very brown and red. All of these tones are so beautiful. I actually haven't even seen, I haven't seen anyone use this shell table in a while. And that looks absolutely stunning. The cohesiveness of this house is really well done. I think now we just have the upstairs and downstairs. I'm gonna start with the downstairs. I usually love people's basements, so that's why I'm like, let's just check it out first. And I am not disappointed, look at this. It's like a woodland, kind of like a Howl's Moving Castle magical bedroom down here. The lighting is so good. Wow. Who would have even thought to put the outdoor bath in here? Another one of those wedding benches, just looks perfect. This is very fairy tale magical feeling. I'm getting so much inspiration right now. This was the perfect tour to do and I really needed this. You know, whenever I'm going through an Animal Crossing burnout, 
I need to go to some amazing islands. And wow, look at this up here. This is so creative. I usually am kind of like, eh, about looking at interiors, but these interiors by Erin are insanely good and, and just so creative because I have not, I don't even know what this room is, but I don't want to leave it. It looks like maybe a somewhat of a kitchen, an old, uh, I was gonna say old school, but that wouldn't be the right word. <laughs> More of like a witchy kitchen maybe and and potions I, I don't know but i love it someone in the comments maybe let me know what you what you would describe that room as i probably just totally made no sense okay so that was i'm assuming the main house of the island i know there are two more reps on the island i wonder if those houses are done as well but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get to it I'm gonna need to download a lot of these codes because I, I really like the mix of this curved log code with this floral path code. Oops, I think I got stuck behind a mush lamp. Oh no. How did I get through here before? Oh, I see. Okay, so I think we gotta head back this way because that was a dead end. And all right, yeah, I see. Another view here of of the sunken waterfall area that's her forming over there was beautiful and then we have a nice backwards incline which i love so much and as we head this way beautiful i really just love how how the pathing is done in front of all of these houses i like that they mix the in-game dirt pathing with these other custom codes i'm kind of wondering what's over this way because i saw this path will it take us to the secret beach Yes, how secretive and perfect was that? Wow, this is so cute. I love, I love the decor here. I love the mixing of the fence with the street lamp and the pirate barrel. So good, so hidden. And it was, it was just the perfect amount because I had seen in the corner of my eye this pathing. That is so nice. I'm absolutely loving that, that pathway over there. And look at this, a little mush farm. And I love just all the colors of flowers. So we have a lot of yellows, whites, browns, and then we also have some like oranges and reds. Um, I've been really trying to get out of my comfort zone with just neutral colored flowers. So this is, this is just looking so great to me. Oops, I did not mean to sit there, but my character does love to sit whenever she gets the chance. She's very similar to me in real life. I'm gonna head back over this way and let's see. So this was this was Abel's over here. Oh, look how cute Maple is looking. We'll head this way and, and continue to the right side of the island. Okay, loving, loving just all of this pathing, all the transition areas. A lot of reds just look so good. The reds, oranges, yellows. Wow, look at that little froggy umbrella. Again, look at these tiny areas. This is what really... I think makes an island so special when all of these little areas are just so well done and thought out. It just, it feels so aesthetic. <laughs> I don't even know what other word to use there. A nice laundry area over here. I absolutely love customizing these clotheslines, so I'm sure you guys do that too, but that is one of my favorite items to customize. How cute, the ironing board on the log bench loving this kind of curation of the mush parasol and all the different tree types just looks really nice and you know what beaches are really hard to decorate but look at how nice we have like a little strawberry farm a, a ton of pathing i like that they planted a lot of different types of flowers on the beach here and since they won't grow they kind of just look like different leaf uh, types and textures so love that idea over here another really cute picnic area i love mixing up the the types of seating with different cushions and stools and things like that and wow look at maple's house she really deserves this let's open this up i'm gonna need to take a picture here because this is so beautiful so she has her own little honey farm with the bees and and the little beekeeper's hives. The pathing on this island is just blowing me away. 
all these colors, the, the yellows, the reds, the whites, so, so pretty. Okay, around this way. Also, are you noticing how well this island is flowing? Because usually I'm very lost on a dream address, but I have been getting around very easily and I'm loving it. I'm not sure whose house this is, but I really like the all the reds over here and the yellows. Just looks really, really good. Let's see, look at all this cliff decor. Nothing is, is not done. Ooh, okay, I almost missed this. This is the peninsula, and this is giving me some real peninsula inspo. How cool does that look? Just doing some terraforming up there and some cliff decoration. All the items that they're using are obviously really beautiful as well. We have a ton of hybrid flowers over here, which look so cool. This feels really, really magical and fairy-like. I like that, that they kind of added this area here. It's a little different from the aesthetic everywhere else, but it gives it just something special, you know? This is gorgeous. Using the mermaid furniture and making it work is a task in itself, and this is so cool. I really like when people are able to incorporate different colors and different themes into their island and creating a little section like this is so cool and it fits in really well because this island to me feels really magical. I'm going to head over on the beach and don't worry, I won't miss anything that's on the land uh, portion either. I just want to make sure we see everything on the right side of the beach. Looking over here, this looks like maybe a post office of some sort, a wrapping area. That's so creative. I love all these different boxes. I don't know. I've never seen these boxes unless that's a custom code on them. And if so, then I just sound <laughs> ridiculous. But uh, I really like those. And uh, look at Callie. I just got Callie on my island and she's such a sweetie. So we're going to head back over this way because I know I missed some stuff. I got distracted by the beach decor because this is so pretty. I have not, I was not expecting that, I guess. Okay, so I think we saw this. Yes, okay, so that was the last villager house we saw. And then um, I'm seeing a diagonal bridge over here, which leads us to ooh, another rep house. This isn't the one we went in, right? It look, no, it definitely isn't, but I'm loving all the decor out here. The picnic areas and the custom codes look beautiful. Okay, yeah, this is a different house. And wow, this one is so much brighter. Really so cute. And look at that. I haven't thought to use KK Slider song covers on the walls. And they're actually the perfect decor. So props to Erin for thinking of that. And look at Molly's photo. Everything just looks, this looks so homey. I changed my mind. I think I want to live in this house. <laughs> Erin is killing the interiors, and like I said before, usually interiors do not excite me, but I am really excited about these. Wow, oh my goodness. Look at this, this is definitely a little, uh, oh my gosh, is this maybe like Mabel's, Mabel and Sable's room or house? I don't know, but it's definitely a clothing kind of sewing shop, and I love, love, love it. Not a shop, but like a clothing workshop is what I meant. <laughs> I just love all the sewing items and putting uh, clothing items up on the walls is my favorite way to decorate interiors. So that room just blew me away. I'm gonna head over to the left here. I can't believe how much work Erin has done on this island. I think completing an island in itself is a lot, but to do all the beaches and the interiors beautifully is, is really a task. Wow, look at this lighting in here. I think the lights are off and just the lighting coming in from the window is so beautiful. This is very moody and I love this. I'm definitely getting some interior inspiration now. Okay, so we're gonna go to the back room. I don't think, did we go to the back room already? I don't think so. Wow, oh my gosh, again, this house is so bright and I love the yellows, I love the whites. This is just really a dream house. I just love all the custom codes being used mixed in with the actual in-game rugs. 
And the fact that she made these rugs herself is blowing me away even more. <laughs> we'll go upstairs first for this one. Okay, the Turkey Day rug is my favorite, so love to see it. Look at all of this. I have never, is this an in-game item? Um, I don't even think that's a custom code. That's so beautiful. I love all of the Turkey Day items being used here. Look at that arrow on the wall. So many item combinations or items in general that I haven't thought to use. So this is just so beautiful. And you know, when we have these big rooms at the top, you know, upstairs or downstairs, it's really nice to break it up into two sections like they did here. So the seating area and then the bedroom area or, or you know, the sleeping bed area. And they even added in over here a, a like spot to get ready. Why can I not think of that name? Uh, it will come to me later. <laughs> And we're gonna head downstairs now. And let's see what they did with the basement because I love basements. <laughs> so, so cute. It This feels very witchy again, and it, this has more of the cottage feel, which I think is perfect for the basement. A little pottery area over here and a painting area. So I'm very studio-like, really, really like this. Okay, so let's head back. Uh, I, I'm wondering what, if we've seen most of the island already or not. It's like, I, I just don't want this island tour to end. So beautiful, again, all the colors over here and every little detail, these little farms. This is my favorite version of the shovel too, this printed design shovel. The green mums against the white and the colors of the weeds are so beautiful. Let's head this way now. And I think I see our little Callie's house over here. Definitely want to check out her house because I just got Callie on my island and this looks so perfect for her. It's all color coded with the greens. Just looks so, so good. I love that each villager house looks so thought out and really feels designed for that that villager. Wow, look at this, all of the pinks and whites. I'm so jealous of the way that they've made all of these different colors really, really work together. Oh, and look at this. I love a tiny cliff like this, so taking some inspo here for sure. And a... I haven't seen anyone use the starter bridge, you know, really in a while. And it looks so great. And another, I think this is the last rep house. So, oops, I'm sorry. Another adorable farm. Love using those windmills up there. And as we go around here, just every detail, so, so good. Let's see what this one is. This house maybe feels like it might be a little bit more farmy, maybe some farm core aesthetic going on Ooh, this is really cool again i'm really wondering how erin had the energy to do four interiors it couldn't be me because i i'm too lazy with interiors <laughs> this is beautiful i love i love the rug on top of this this flooring it just looks so good and even that tiny bed everything's just so aesthetic i'm really really just enjoying all of these interiors. Oh, wow. This is a really cool bathroom. I forgot what this rug is called, but it works perfect in the bathroom. And all of this around here oh, looks so, so nice. I'm loving Erin's ability to play around with so many different color palettes for these interiors because for me I kind of stick with one theme and that's how I how I design and and what I get inspiration from so this is really cool you can just tell how creative Erin is oops <laughs> love that <laughs> sorry Erin <laughs> Erin probably is like, I told you not to go in that room. 
Um, should we check out the upstairs? So there's no downstairs of this of this house. So I'm not sure if the upstairs is done. Whoop. Honestly though, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that those rooms are not decorated because if Erin really decorated four rooms, I would be in shock. Like that is some super I don't I don't even know. It, w it would make me feel pretty bad about myself because I can barely do one interior. All right, so we're going to head back this way. Callie is looking adorable. Thanks for blessing us with your presence, honey. Going to head. I wonder if this is Erin. Eden, come on by the library. Okay, so we were right. So, so we did see the library before. I did think it was going to be a bakery, but I'm glad that I didn't, I didn't mess up what, what it actually was. Let's head over this way. So I think we've seen most of the left side of the island. Or wait, no, we're on the right side. I don't know my left and right. We looked at the beach stuff. So let's head over to the left side now. I'm not sure if, we, if we've seen anything on the left. I don't think we have. Oh, love, love, love the, guard, uh, the wedding bench again. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow, this is really magical. I definitely need to get my camera at, out. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this mush table. Let me get out of the frame. All of the item curation, again, is so nice. I'm really just floored by this island. Let's go this way because I see some cool stuff back there, but I don't want to miss anything beautiful this is so nice oh my gosh and the campsite right here on the beach on top of all of this pathing just so beautiful let's say hi iris boo uh iris wood is the name of my new island so that's funny because this is wildwood this island oh this is a really tiny pier i have not seen such a tiny pier but they really made it work how cool is that with the bamboo uh, bench and and the frying pan on top of it another mini campsite next to the campsite I usually am not a huge fan of beach campsites but the way that they did the pathing here with the campsite is so beautiful that I might I might change my mind about beach campsites <laughs> let's see if there's anything else behind here that I might miss because it looks like there's a fishing area super cute look at all oh i love the little seahorse all the fishing stuff and then it looks like ooh, lots of hybrid flowers i actually i don't know if this is where erin is storing her hybrid flowers but either way they're so curated and i love i love the colors mixed in here Ooh, this is really cool too the Stonehenge on the beach looks so amazing. And I love the path thing done over here. This looks like, oh, okay, I know. We must be by the museum because this looks like Blather's study. Really cool. I could definitely see Blather's out here studying all the creatures. And I can tell that the museum is very well hidden. Let's go over here. Whoa. Look at this terraforming by the museum. What a great job to, you know, a lot of people struggle with that big museum and that is so well hidden. You can barely see it. I do love how the museum, the doorway is so dark. I think it looks really nice. Okay, up here we go. A little cliff gives you a better view of, of the museum back there. And this looks like maybe a bit of a forest. Ooh, did I miss whatever is up here? Yes. Or no, wait. Is this? Okay, I think this might be Grizzly's house. And look at how well done Grizzly's is. This is the perfect house for him. And he deserves all of this. He's definitely like a little woodworker. And he sits outside and right by the fire. Just, I can totally imagine all of this. A little fishing spot. Loving all of the bug models as well. Again, I just love how the terraforming is done because everything flows so nicely. This is so cute. All of the color coordination with, with these 
little areas, the reds and the whites look so beautiful. And you can tell how thought out all of these villager houses are. Okay, another, again, another great example. Look at the whites and greens here. I love that they're not afraid to play around with more colors and and different styles, even using a different kind of incline and they somehow make it work. I'm really jealous of, of that creativity and their ability to step out of the comfort zone of just using the same colors and the same things as we walk into this amazing garden. I am blown away. These colors are so beautiful. This is just stunning. And it's just a flower garden, but it's so beautiful because of all these different textures and types of flowers and colors. They work so well together and you could tell how thought out this combination of flowers is and all the little details, the cosmo showers, the hose, even the butterfly model. I'm blown away. I really felt speechless for a second. And I think this is a little shop area which works so nicely with that. I think we came into this area backwards, but it's okay because still, um, it's still blowing me away. So, all right, now I think we saw most of what was on the right side and I actually think we've seen the entire island. So I hope that you guys are as inspired as I am. If you're doing a similar theme with the spring core, which I recommend because it's the perfect mix of that natural cottage core aesthetic that we all love, but it's with a lot more color. So it gives you a new fresh take on, on that aesthetic that we already like. Uh, so if you're feeling a burnout with the theme that you're doing now, maybe this island will inspire you like it has me. Thank you so much, Erin, for letting us tour. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, show the creator some love. Their socials will be in the description. Visit their dream address. Let them know what you thought. Thank you guys for watching this video. I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.